Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me James and we continue our Complete Subnautica playthrough. Previously we discovered the floating island and right now we've got a message to check. So before we do anything else let's check that out. Aurora we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... well it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay, so looks like Sunbeam's coming to our rescue, and we got less than 40 minutes till its arrival. I just need to prep a few things up, just get some food together, and if we just check up here, we'll see that the uh, Sunbeam landing sites around 1500 meters out just behind them clouds over there So I'm just gonna gather some things together and we'll head on out to the landing site Okay, so we've got about 15 minutes before the Sunbeam arrives and We don't want to miss it. So I've just left the pod there. I've run out of storage space for the things I was gathering So I've just sort of dropped a load of metal outside of the pod and I hope no stalker takes it. But uh, with the sunbeam on the way, of course, we're going to be getting rescued soon. So perhaps we won't need that stuff. I was planning to build a base, but I'm not quite sure which biome to set up in this run. Still, we've had no reason to come out this way before. And I haven't explored out in this direction of the kelp forest yet. So... It's night time at the moment, so it's a little bit dark and uh, can be hard, hard to see at the best of times, sometimes in this dense kelp forest. So there's some caves to explore back there with the jellyfish. T tend to find lots of copper and uh, things in those parts. I was debating whereabouts to set up the, uh, the base. Still haven't quite decided. I'll have to have a look around for a good spot, but here we are. Looks like we've got dry land and this place is not a floating island. This is just indeed a regular island. You can hear in the background there something that sounds extremely big. But uh, we're relatively safe coming in on this side of the island. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. You can see what looks like or appears to be an alien base. So, very cool. I've got some. F I did bring some flares with me. Let's, uh, let's put some light down so the zombie must see us. Okay, so there is some of these crabs on the island. It only take a few hits to take them out. They're more of annoyance than anything else. Come here, you. And yeah, I think they take like three hits, but uh, he's just scalped off. Okay, some more alien looking structures here, these pillars. Let's just put a bit more light on it. We'll have to explore this island a little bit further. Um, looks like another fragment of one of the keys we found before, or the purple tablet. And okay, scan that. Okay, so we've got a force field up. Now we could insert the tablet, but we've got 12 minutes until the sunbeam gets here, so we don't want to miss that. I might just have a little look around the island and see if we can find any materials. We do need some diamond to craft the laser cutter. That's kind of what's held us back getting into some of these wrecks. Just see what's up this way. And here's a purple tablet, so we can get into the alien base, but like I say, we'll just hold off. Hmm. Just around the back here we'll see the Aurora. 
Yeah, we certainly don't want to be coming in on this side of the island. That's where the uh, loud screaming was coming from, from something big. Well, I think I might have a run, hunt round, see if I can find any diamonds or lithium. Some of the resources that we've not been coming across in the shallow waters. But I don't really want to wander away too far from this spot. And I guess we can grab ourselves some bulbar fruit. Gonna miss that when we're gone. Let's just grab some now. Yeah, the bulbar tree. <laughs> it doesn't restore much, and it does take up a lot of inventory space, but uh, they are handy to grow. Something to have around the base. managed to find uh, a couple of diamonds. I'm just going to finish off the last of our bulba trees, even though they only give us one point back. And uh, yeah, I found some lithium as well in a cave just around the corner. I'm sure there's plenty of it about. Just have a few more bulba parts. Okay, well, 30 seconds before the sunbeam comes in. Say we've got a couple of diamonds on us now, so at least we've got something to sell when we get back to Earth. <laughs> and that's not looking too good. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. Sounds kind of glitched out a little bit. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. Well, doesn't look good for the crew of the Sunbeam, and that might explain why the Aurora crashed down also might explain why the Degasi crashed down before it. Unfortunately there's nothing we could do to stop that. But uh, perhaps we should try and get inside this alien facility figure out a little bit more about this island. Okay, so Got one of the tablets. Just scan this force field control. Scan everything we can. Indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented. Like I say, this is uh, definitely an alien structure. No matches found in database. Performing structural analysis. It's uh, weird walking around when you've been used to swimming all this time. Okay, so we've just got uh, some data terminal here. Grabbing a few of these will help trans translate the alien language. Okay, let's figure out what else is in here. Ion cubes. These are going to come in handy later on. 
for uh, upgrading a power source. Alien technology. Okay. Is there anything back this way? Nope. We'll continue. Some more data just up the top here. Let's grab that and another ion cube. I don't need to use them just yet, but uh, they are hard to come by, so we will need them. Okay. I'll just head on straight up this way. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Jump in this alien lift. It's going to take us down a hundred meters down. Or nearly a hundred meters down. And looks like we could uh, dock a large submarine in this area if we needed to. scan this. It's an alien rifle, but let's say there is no guns in this game and this is not something we're going to be able to craft. It's more a data entry. entry. We'll scan it anyway. Another ion cube. Take that. And we'll save this room for a, a little bit. Let's just Head on up and find the control room. Okay, I'm going up these stairs. Looks like there's a, another purple tablet over here for us. Nothing that way, but just scan this. Again, it's just for a data entry, but it's the Doomsday device. Perhaps their intentions were to use that if all else failed. Scans indicate the okay. facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Okay, yeah, we can insert the key here. This looks like the main control area. Here we go. Can't see anything else to scan in here. Okay, let's interact with it. Seems to be a thing on Jabba's palace. <laughs> It would look like infected individuals may not disable the weapon, and that may explain why it's here in the first place. So, it would look like this whole planet is under quarantine. Nothing can get in or out. And it would appear that there's some sort of contagion. So, let's get back outside and go and check out that other room down there. So, it would look like this planet is under lockdown. And that explains a lot. And that explains why the Aurora crashed here and the Degasi before it. So, to stand any chance of getting off this planet we're going to have to disable the weapon. Let me just check in here. We can see our first Stargate. 
It doesn't look like this one can be open from this side, but... So if we look further, we might find more of them. There's anything else to scan here. Can't use the ion cubes on these, so... We continue. Let's get out of here and check out the rest of this island. As I say before, I managed to find some lithium and diamonds, but uh, there was some caves to explore, so I think we'll head on out so we can find some more resources. The resource course, we still need to get back to the Aurora. There was some important information beamed there. So, let's check these caves out. Okay, so I've been hunting around and there's plenty of gold and diamonds in these caves. So, near enough full. Found lots of lithium in here as well. And as you can see, we found another Stargate. Perhaps we can open this one. Yeah, it's got it. Okay, so in order to activate these they need an iron cube well we've got a few of them from the base so we can activate our first stargate before we get in there though I'm just gonna check underneath this stargate and just have a look round see if we can find some more resources because I've done alright so far I've got plenty of gold and diamonds some of the things we're needing ah, and as you can see here we got another crab but this one seems to be infected and green spots on it doesn't look very healthy perhaps that's something to do with the quarantine Let's see some more up here, I need to make a torch as well I'm just using my sea glide to s at the moment that's not ideal no diamond I think I've got plenty of lithium at the moment. Definitely going to be able to craft the laser cutter now. Okay. Oh, more gold. It's going to help us do electronics. Okay, so I've pretty much filled up the inventory, but uh, let's check out where this Stargate goes. Stargates. Okay, so as you'll see, we've come back to another island. In fact, it's actually the island we was on in the last episode. I'll uh, just run up the top here so we can see a bit better. Yeah, the first Stargate opens a way to get between both islands, which is kind of handy because this island had some resources on it as well that we were using. And plus, it had the old Degasi barracks on it. I do need to come and check back here and get some more resources. So it's handy that we can now jump between islands. Also going to have to get some seeds and plant some of this food, perhaps in our own base eventually. And there you can see, this is where we pretty much came in on. It's just a small cave round to the right here, above where we came in last time that leads to this Stargate. Okay. Let's jump it here. Don't know if it'll Walk me through what it has done. Okay, so, well, that's good news that uh, we've managed to pretty much fill up our inventory full of diamonds and gold and lithium. So we've now got plenty of resources to set up a habitat. We've also got the resources to be able to build a laser cutter now. I don't really think I can carry much more. But uh, let's get back to the seam off and then back to base. And like you can see there, I've got at least a dozen. Let's get back to base. 
Okay, so we're back at Life Pod 5, and unfortunately the Sunbeam didn't make it. So we're going to have to think about setting up some sort of base or some sort of habitat. I need some space for storage. That's one of the difficulties with using this Life Pod. I've had to drop a load of the metal on the floor outside. We've also got another message. I'm going to guess that's from another possible survivor, but it's going to have to wait until next time. Just take some of this water, but this food is rotten, so I need to go and hunt some food. I definitely need to find a place to store some of this stuff, so I'm gonna have to think about setting up something basic as a base for this next episode. We've also got the diamonds we're gonna need now to do the laser cutter, and we're gonna be able to do some more electrics. So don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying my Subnautica playthrough. I have a feeling that not only do we need to build a base next time, but perhaps now we've got the diamonds we need and some of the equipment we need to be able to craft the laser cutters, perhaps we should explore the Aurora. We've also got some more radio messages waiting for us, no doubt more pods to investigate. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.